Hi there, this is Venerabella, and I'm here to give you a very, very quick and simple tutorial for if you have one of these, an Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit, uh, that you are trying to get working with our PCS3 Rock Band 2 Deluxe. This tutorial is going to be assuming that you have already gotten our PCS3 set up via Alex tutorial, as well as all the custom DLC downloaded from JNAX Google Drive. Now as you see here, I am on my main screen for my drum set, where I can usually select the different drum sounds. What you want to do first is press the voice button up at the top right of the module. This will enter a kit selection page. Now you want to hit whichever pad you are going to adjust. For me, it's going to be the first tom that's going to be the yellow tom. Now you want to press the utility button to enter the settings for that specific pad. Set the sensitivity for the pads between 13 and 15, and then you want to select the voice button to save that setting. You're going to do this for all the pads on the drum set, including the kick pedal. And for the cymbals, you want to set those to 12, and again, press the voice button when you have saved the sensitivity for each individual cymbal. Once you have finished with every single pad, every single cymbal, and every single bass drum, you will press the save button a screen will pop up um, asking you to select a user kit. You want to keep this between 25 and 40. I have it set on 25 myself. Once you have selected one of those, you press save again and you are good to go. The last bit of information that you will need in order to make sure that your cymbals do not hit the bass drum as well is in Rock Band 2, you want to go down to the Extras menu, go to Modifier, and then scroll down until you see this, and make sure it's selected. Once you've done that, you're ready to play.